Okay, there are several things you should notice about this video. Uh, first is I'm going to include a processor technology 16KRA board uh, that I have tested and verified works. I am going to also include a cassette recorder that has been worked and tested with this. And I'm going to play a video game which proves that this will play back from cassette and uses this 16K RAM card. Okay, the first step is to get the program from the cassette recorder. So I'm executing the get command with TARG as the program name, 0000 is the location it's going to be stored at. Okay, the cassette recorder is running and it takes about 45 seconds, so I'm going to stop the tape and restart it when it's loaded. Okay, after it's done loading, it will continue the line and show that the program was loaded, uh, gives the loading location and the size of the program. So it loaded properly. So the next thing we'll do is we'll execute the program. We'll go E X E C 0, 0, 0, 0, which is where the program is located. And it'll begin to load the program. And it's loading it into RAM. So this verifies that the RAM is actually working. If you're off by one byte or so, this program will lock up. So it's running well. Okay, this is a pretty interesting uh, program. The way this program works is very simply you enter a number from 1 to 9 for the difficulty. It's, it's a shooting game where you shoot at moving targets, so we'll start at number 3. And it'll start the program. And then when you press the space bar, it'll shoot the uh, ships as they come across the screen. Uh, you can do left and right arrow and control the direction of the of the shooting. It's actually quite a fun game to play. Um, and I'm including the cassette recorder, the cassette tape that this is loaded, loaded from. It's actually kind of fun for a 1970 vintage game. Uh, this is a time-based game. When the game is over, it'll bring up your score and your points. It'll tell you how you did on it. Yeah, it's a pretty fun game. Anyway, the whole point of this exercise is to show that the 16K RAM card works, the cassette interface works, uh, we can load from the cassette, play games. Uh, it's actually a pretty good way to demonstrate and make use of a 1976 vintage computer.